What's going on guys, Mr. Roller Coaster Man here and today I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on how I did my colour correction for my Cypher Montage re-upload Let It Burn if you've seen that. Um, now I don't own this system, all credit goes to High Rules 1970-something. I'll put a link to his channel in the description, but I, I'll show you his channel right now, just because he is awesome. So, uh, here he is. High Rules 13579. He's awesome. He does epic edits and everything, so go subscribe to him. Uh, I'll put his link channel in the description <clears throat> anyways let's go on to the tutorial first you'll need to visit Blainsville oh, I'm not sure how you spell it yes Blaine's movie maker blog I'll also put a link to this one and you want to go you want to scroll down and and you can download any of these if you like they're just overlays and stuff now there's a bunch of transition packs. You want to look for the A to B one, which you just go older posts. But you will need Windows Movie Maker 6, but you can easily get it if you're 64, you click this, though, to get this. So I'll leave that there so I can put it in the description. And that's basically all you need. And your footage. If there's anything I forgot, I will tell you. So. Oh, you can see adventures. I will open Windows Movie Maker 6.0. Now, these are a bunch of things like you can do green screening with this shader thing. In order to get some of the film effects from Blazeville, you have to download the shader. So you can do green screening, which I've done before. Um, but basically, you want to set up your timeline here. And I'm going to drag by montage on in fact i'm just going to do it with another clip i'm going to drag this sucker on and i'm going to zoom the timeline out just so it's a bit shorter now what we want to do is with this clip we want to go over to effects and we want to drag bleach bypass on and when you play it back you see it's a bit brighter so now i'll drag enhance yellow so you can see it's changing now enhance red changing enhance yellow a bit more goes a bit brighter and even more like you can just make this thing really bright until it doesn't even allow you to do it anymore see it's not even allowing me to do it anymore there's too many effects but yeah, um, you can get some pretty sick looking effects, but sometimes you'll have to remove some of the effects. Just like this. I have to remove, remove, remove. So we've got enhanced red on now. So if we want to make a good effect, I'll put midnight blue on. And then I'll put green on. And it gives us that sort of darky effect and you can put contrast on and then i like to put um distortion on which gives that white look but yeah that's how you do color correction in a windows movie maker um remember all okay, credit goes to high rules he did it a bit different he actually went in and put a color of his choice which i'll put in and then if I do, I need to enlarge the timeline. He would get this and he'd make it longer. Then the video itself. And then you'd have to um go and drag, you'd have to go into transitions and get compositing A to B and just put that in and then Continue unregistered. You have to like drag it over or something. I'm not very good at it. 
but you can look at his tutorial. His is better. Than okay. And his oh, see, it um, puts like this green on it. Now you can do it with a bunch of different colors, and the resolution of mine isn't that good because I record with Dazzle. But if you have a good recording and you want to do some quick color correction, well, that's how you do it. So thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, remember, all credit goes to Hard Rules. I think that's how you say his name, hopefully. Yeah, I think it is. Anyways, peace.